So hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of our vital signs and voices into new earth or for new earth and I'm very happy to have with me and I may say a friend although we are a long distance away from each other but not far away in the heart Dr. Shivani Kitani, thank you so much for joining us today. What thank a you blessing. so much for having me here. And it's it's a pleasure. And thank you for inviting me here. And I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we had a little bit of interaction. And obviously, we are figuring out what we're talking about. And we're looking at, of course, commonalities. And what we really want to uh, look at today is really that idea of leading from the heart. And this is something that's close to our heart both and we do it of course in different ways but what we're feeling is by leading from the heart we're actually weaving this new earth into being and so we are going on this metaphor of weaving and we're going on leading from the heart so let's let's help our audience to understand what we're actually talking about so what, where do you come from when you say, I'm leading from the heart? You also have just written a book that in a way is that. Yes, yes, it, it is. Um, it's a book which is very close to my heart. So that's why leading from the heart. And the work that I'm doing is, is a combination of uh, modalities that I've gone through in my life, which is, again, weaving, expressive art, uh, clinical hypnotherapy, emotions. Also, I believe a lot in Louis Hay uh, philosophy of emotions. So it's like weaving all that together. And that's how the book has come. And that's why the book is all about deeper self-awareness and how the leadership can come from that. So like you said, leading from the heart. Yes, if, if I am having all the emotions which is love, kindness, respect, then I can give it to others also. Mm -hmm. if, if there's a lack of love or any kindness or respect in my own self, then what am I going to weave outside the world that I live in? You know, so, so the bridge is all about my heart and how do I bridge it to the other person? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I then, like so... you said, uh, there are some threads which are not there, but which are there. So I'm leaving it to you to weave that. So leaving that space for my other person. Yeah, and this is That's so what beautiful. I mean. So we are living in already in a new world, but yet this new world is not fully here yet. And what you are telling us is actually how we are weaving together, even if we don't have all the threads. Even if we don't know what that bridge is going to look like. But giving actually others the confidence and the awareness and the trust that they can do this together. And I, I, I love how you are speaking and, and your different background, the modalities that you have woven together, just like I have woven together different modalities. But in that we recognize that these modalities are just part of the threads. They are not all. And as we are owning not only the emotions without being emotional, but as we are owning that, that center, that intelligence of the heart, I feel we are truly leading because we are going within. And we're not only leading from our external expectations and duties and have tos. And so what I really love about you is also, Shivani, that you really do what's from the heart. I can feel that in every post that you write, in every video that I watch from you. If you're doing the Tai Chi or if you're walking with your mother or if you're talking about your work, it, it all comes from within. And as you said, if you don't have it within, how can you bring it out? So I want to talk a little bit more about that, what, what you are sharing in the world. What, what is your current experience? How do you weave? How do you invite new threads of weaving that bridge? Um, so there are lots of ways. First, I try to be myself, I would say. 
like um am i uh, complaining about myself or am i celebrating myself every day you know there are times when uh, things are not working things can be challenging so what am i weaving every day am i weaving the emotions which are putting me down or am i weaving the emotions uh, that help me to to motivate me to find new ways so like you mentioned um, tai chi when i'm doing or the post that i'm doing or i'm very close to my mother and she is the ambassador for my uh, mudita uh, which means i'm happy in your happiness that's what the meaning of mudita is and it's a sanskrit word so when i'm going through a low phase in my life i always see it as okay there's more learning so what do i need to learn today am i grateful for what i have am i living in my present or am i living in my past or am i going too much in my future so the weaving is all about you know am i weaving my past or am i weaving my future <laughs> so when i see my mother she gets me in present because her her challenges are very real they are very present she cannot walk like she used to walk so i have to lower my pace to walk with her so that weaves me into my heart okay i have to go from where she is coming from mm-hmm. so so my mother is not a super hero who is very good in all ways you know so how am i weaving that world with her from post to doing my expressive art with her or there are some children who come and play with her also you know we have once a week i have some people who you know who cannot go to these counselors so i invite two of these girls and they they sit all together and they have fun and they have expressive art work so one hour of session happens and my mom is a part of that so we weave a lot of love a lot of kindness a lot of understanding okay there is a limitation but that's all right Mm-hmm. so so when when you ask me what am i weaving i am just weaving what i am beautiful and and the word that i put after i am is i'm strong i'm healthy i'm beautiful i'm awesome i am supported by the universe all the time mm-hmm. that's all i try to help my mother also with when she was in in icu when she could not even we couldn't understand what was happening i was only telling her mom say she she's not very good with english mm-hmm. but she understands healthy mm-hmm. she understands i am so i was telling her please say i am healthy so she, one day she became very angry with me mm-hmm. don't you see i have all these tubes going on and you tell me i am healthy so i said yes because that's what i want you to be you have pain if you will say all the time you have pain look what you are going to have mm-hmm. so it didn't help her you know she was for two three days she was like that only and the fourth day she herself started saying i said the more it pains please say i am healthy i am strong and in 10 days she was out of from that icu mm-hmm. in two months she started walking in three months we saw a lot of progress in her because her mantra now is i am healthy Mm-hmm. and stop she does complain sometimes when she has pain but then i but what am i weaving i am mm-hmm. weaving what i want in life yes but a lot of people are weaving what they don't want in life yeah and the universe doesn't understand that kind of language i feel our language and and louis hay dolores can and there's so many beautiful people who have all worked in that field and and i love language right so for me the language is so important because what you say is what you're asking for it's not that the universe is a vending machine no and it's not that your body is is you press a button and you get what you want it's not that kind of want but it is who we are and you said that so beautifully it's our attributes i really love how you supported your mother to weave her new life because she got a new life she could have also passed yes yes you helped her to weave a new life into being 
with certain physical limitations, but yet she has expanded incredibly her consciousness, her energy. So I want to take this now from the emotion to the energy, because at the end of the day, all the words that we say, all what we feel is actually energy. So this is how we are creating. It's not about manifesting the house and the car and whatever you want. No, it is creating who we are, I feel. You're creating those attributes. And we all have this in us. We can all be healthy. We can all be well. We can all be happy. Can you tell me that Sanskrit word again about being happy in, in, in your happiness? What was that Sanskrit word that you mentioned in the beginning? Oh, it's mudita. Mudita, mudita okay. means, yes. Mudita, see, you have English words for, um, in other languages, let's say, uh, we have compassion, uh -huh. we have empathy, we have kindness, we have love, but we do not have a word which is, I'm happy in your happiness. Yeah, I really love that. It's not about I am happy because you are happy. I really no. love that nuance. It's not like, oh, I have yes. to make you happy. No, it doesn't mean any no. of that. No. I really... I'm just happy in your happiness. Exactly. And this is the happiness within. That's the happiness in the heart. And it is called mudita. mudita. And, uh, yeah. and why I chose this was because all my life I've seen my mother being happy when my father was happy. Or when I was happy, there was no way she was asking anything or she wanted something else. She was happy that you are happy. So I thought when I was uh, finding a name for my organization, then this was the word that I felt this, this applies to her ideology in life. Because I've seen her as a child living like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and never complaining, never blaming never justifying uh, what she has not done. She was always upfront. Okay, I forgot. I don't know. I didn't think about it. Uh -huh. But she was never a person who was blaming or complaining about anything. Even if she had no money, she was never complaining to my father okay. that we have less money and how do we do things. So I think I've learned a lot from her um, by not even teaching me, she has taught me a lot. I can say that. In her silence, I have learned a lot. Yes. Isn't it beautiful how our parents can be such a gift if we can see the gift that they give us? You know, we all had our challenges with our parents. We could spend our whole life being upset about whatever. But I, I really love how you say that. Every parent has a gift for us. We have chosen our parents for that gift. We haven't chosen it for the hardship. Everybody had some issues with their parents at some space, but there is an essence that they have gifted us, that lives within us. And I feel that's also, forgive me, I can't say the word properly, mud, mud, mudra, no. What is Mudita. The, Mudita. 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 This is this is that happiness within that you can actually accept. You can embrace that happiness that you have received, that gift. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I can say, um, like even I'm also a parent, you know, so so we we have our limitations with our children and um and I cannot complain much about it. Like like even to an extent, I cannot say if I was a good parent or a bad parent because I think it's my child to decide what kind of a parent I have been with them. And, and I absolutely respect that if they like it or if they don't like it. Um, but as, as a child, I can say uh, uh, I absolutely had a great uh, childhood where the parents were not fighting. Mm -hmm. They had no situation. I was quite blessed to be that child, uh, which unfortunately, maybe I could not give the same space to my children. And and uh, and I think um, I have learned a lot at this time of my life, I can say, uh, probably I wish I was more uh, clearer about things when I was 10 years back or 20 years back. Um, but yes, um, I feel privileged that I had parents who who absolutely had no issues. And, and we were brought up like that, uh, which is a little rare to find in this in this world today. Yes. yes. 
And I and feel, again, it brings us back to that weaving and those threads. But it's also what we are choosing. You know, maybe some threads are not for us. It's not about good or bad, but if we have the ability to work with the threads that we have been given and we're weaving a beautiful bridge, it's True. all good. Uh, also, it reminds me that, that being happy in your happiness. I don't know if you're familiar with Carol Graves, psychologist. He created, in a way, the spiral dynamics. Spiral dynamics is later became an integral theory, Ken Wilber and all of that, but he was the father of the origin. And so in spiral dynamics, he talks about how we as humanity go through different layers of consciousness, how that changes our relationship. So first we are all afraid of a deity and we're afraid of nature or we live in harmony, or then we think we need to structure and organize everything. But he says that there is a second layer, a second tier of consciousness that we are accessing now. He said that 30 years ago, 40 years ago. But he says in that what we shift to is a collective self. And when you talk about the happiness in your happiness, I see the collective self. Absolutely. And, and you said spiral dynamics, you know. If you see uh, closely everything that we see from nature to anything, it's all spiral in nature, you know. So uh, whatever we are doing now, it's like those layers coming out and the layers are another coming out. It's again spiral in nature. Everything from mandalas to, to anything you open Fractals. from flowers. Anything, yes. Anything is spirals and anything. So we can decide to spiral out and into a new spiral or we can decide to spiral back down. Absolutely, absolutely. The sound that that flows, like you work so much with sound, so you know and how you. the sound uh, is is flowing and, and it's in spiral, you know, and then the, the, the vibration and the frequency that you're doing, it's like going like this. It's again a spiral. Exactly. So, so anything that we can think of, emotions, it's like uh, the bug flower remedies that you are working with, you know, they want, exactly. how is it like again, working like this, you, know, you see something and then you are like, okay, uh, what do I do with this emotion? Okay, I accept it or I release it. And then again, there's another layer, layer of something else happening, another layer of something else happening. So, yes. so the dynamics can be from humans to nature. It, it all depends on, again, coming back to what you started with. What are you weaving? Exactly. Yeah. What are you weaving? And, and we are all part of these spirals. And I mean, even the DNA that we have and that's maybe changing now is also a spiral. So as you said, it's everywhere. And, and we can see that as a weaving. We are weaving really something beautiful into being. Yeah, it's just amazing to share this magic with you, Shivani. It's really, really beautiful. Tell us a little bit about your book, because I'm really excited about that. So, um, so I have the book in my hand. So Please. this is my book. Yes, the book is Enhancing Leadership Skills Through Deeper Self-Awareness. So the book is actually touching, again, leading from the heart. And how self-aware am I of my emotion? And, and if I'm not self-aware of my emotion, then I cannot be a good leader also. See, to be a good leader, I have to be a good leader with my own self first. So that's why I said leading from the heart so that you are self-aware and then the self-reflection is there. And then understanding where is it that I need to put my energy into? So is my energy growing into something or is my energy getting me down somewhere which is not required? Am I able to release my energy which is not required? And can I replace it with unconditional love? So it's a self-help book and it is understanding what clinical hypnotherapy is about mm -hmm. and how expressive art can be a part where you are able to work with your conscious brain. Because unless you are ready 
to work with your conscious brain, the subconscious brain is not going to take any of the recordings that you want to give. Right? That is one thing. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? So there's a little bit about that. Then there are a lot of reflective exercises after each uh, lesson where we are playing with mindfulness, we are playing with the mind, we are playing with our own self, that what is it that I am looking for and what is the feeling I am trying to possess in my life. So how am I feeling is a very important question I feel you need to ask yourself maybe 50 times in a day or 60 times in a day. You know, basically there are six emotions. There are many emotions after that, but there are six yeah, emotions. which are six is, basics. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's anger, there's sadness, there's happiness, there's disgust, there's fear, and there's surprise. Mm -hmm. So some people say I'm very bored. So the boredness is coming from being lonely. And the lonely is coming from being sad. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's connected. <laughs> connected. So there's a punctual wheel hole where you can find out, okay, what am I feeling? Right. If I'm feeling frustrated, then frustration is a part of an anger. Yeah. Right? So so basically there are six, uh, six emotions and from where all this comes out. And again, our good habits and bad habits are habits. Mm-hmm. There are behaviors, right? Yeah. So that's one thing. And the second is, if I do not like something about someone, it's not about the person, it's about the behavior, they behaved. Right? So now the combination of both the things. The person is fine, it's the behavior. Mm -hmm. The habit, which is a good or a bad, mm -hmm. it can be changed. And then exactly. the Louis Hay saying, thoughts can be changed. So the combination of these three is my book where we are trying to understand what is the emotion that you're carrying? What are you feeling? Why are you feeling? Now, certain things can be released mm -hmm. once you are aware. Mm -hmm. Now, certain things which are not in your control, mm -hmm. that you are thinking like that because there's a belief system that you have been carrying. That we can work with clinical hypnotherapy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And, with sound, and then how? With sound also works. The sound, music also works for that. Yes. Sound. So the for the closure, we do use sound. We use yeah. um, guided meditations. Mm -hmm. And I have some self-hypnosis text in this book also. Can't wait to read uh, Which people can. Yes, people. Yes, and I'm going to be sending you today. I'm so excited. Uh, uh, yes. So, um, so the book is all about uh, understanding why expressive art, uh -huh. why why music is so important, uh -huh. why um, art is so important. It, it doesn't matter if I'm, we are not art teachers. We are not going to tell uh -huh. you how good or It's the expression. Like, you know, we were, I was working the other day with a, with, a, uh, with a client and I asked them to draw their fear. Uh -huh. And you had to see that drawing, you know, when it came out. And she was like, oh God, uh -huh. it looks like this. And why am I wasting my time? Mm -hmm. so, so when we say courage, it doesn't mean it's an absence of fear. No. Courage is that I am fearful, but still I am taking that, that feeling of, okay, I need to do that action. And I am getting in charge of the responsibility that I need to do. Not that, and again, these emotions, you've seen when you're angry, how your body language is. Of course. When you have fear, how your body language, it's such a close language, you know. Mm -hmm. So again, the book is emphasizing on how these emotions can be identified through simple mindfulness mm -hmm. uh, exercises and how you can release them every day mm -hmm. to weave a life that you really, really want, mm -hmm. you know. So if I if I see myself uh, down 10 years, mm -hmm. there was a movie that I saw and I was in love with that movie. And, and I saw this guy working and I said, this is how I want to work. And at that time, everyone laughed at me saying, 
oh, you, you're not a full-fledged psychologist. How would you work? This is not going to happen. And, you know, and I, I was from a textiles uh, line and I had left it and I was doing my research. Then I went for my expressive art research. Still, I did not have a clue what to do with it. And he had his studio in Goa. Mm -hmm. And I was in absolutely love with that movie. And I said, what movie if was I'm... That? It was Dear Zindagi by Shah Rukh Khan. Yes, yes, we know yes. it. We've seen it. Yes, yes, yes. We yes. love Indian movies. So, yes. So to go, he was in Goa and, he, yes. and, and the work he was doing, he was absolutely trying to help people out and mm -hmm. figure out things. Though he was opening a window. Mm -hmm. See, when you are actually, actually, as you know, much better than me, when you're working as a psychologist, you want the other person, the client, to fi figure out the, the window and the door and the everything. Whereas when I started working, I created my own way of doing is, mm -hmm. I would like to help them open a window and then we will say, okay, now you open more windows and you open your door also. Mm -hmm. so my work is about coaching, therapy, uh, transformation. And I have created my own way of working with clinical hypnotherapy is which is LRR which is life rewrite regression ah okay yes instead yes, of going yes. into past life regression yes now yes, when yes. I work with, right so when I work with past life regression I think I am one person who is telling people to do the past life of the life they have lived mm -hmm. okay if there is a very big trauma or something then you go to the life past life regression if it is required otherwise exactly. if I'm if I'm 50 years old, why not do a regression of my past life of 50 years from the age of 3 to 15 to 20? What happened? Why have I become like this? And so I feel lot of in addition, there. some of the past life is actually reflected in this life because we chose Definitely. this life to clear it. I absolutely agree with that. So that's why first... Figure this out, and then if that is required, we will figure that out. But 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 when you go these days for the hypnotherapy or anything, people are saying, "Oh, I want to do PLR, I want to do this, and I want to do PLR for no reason." Mm -hmm. So the book is actually telling people why not to do PLR, mm -hmm. why to do the PLR of the time that you have lived first, because see, it's a Pandora box. If you open that. It's going to become your present memory. Yeah. We don't know what we're going to find there. Like I, I was working with uh, in, in a workshop uh, of two day workshop of Louis mm -hmm. Hay. And there was someone who actually realized that she was abused in her age when she was uh, in her house or something, mm -hmm. you know, and people would take care of them. They, they had done something to her. And she was crying and crying. And, I, and that, that shows that when we were going towards the present and everything, she was able to figure out that why she had that fear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And why she was so protective with her own child in today's life. Of course. But that memory had been gone somewhere and she had forgotten about it. But when we did that work, Somewhere it, it ignited and she was like, oh God, this is why it happened. And uh -huh. and she had, and it was all pent up here. Of course. And With it an doesn't emotion. mean you don't have to go back into the drama. I feel mm -hmm. the power is in saying, yeah, okay, it happened. It wasn't yeah. pleasant. It surely triggered something in me and created a fear or whatever, but I don't need to return to a drama. And I feel Absolutely. what you're talking about is also that, not going back into drama, but rewriting it. Saying, ah. Rewriting and teasing it. Because it, for her, it, it was an emotion that was maybe she didn't even know it had to be released. So, so, so rewriting your uh, new life is something very powerful. And I think we cannot replace it, but we can rewrite a new emotion. Exactly. So the book is emphasizing on how you can rewrite, how you can release, how these different modalities are important in mm -hmm. life, mm -hmm. why inner child is important in life. And we also have uh, two guided meditations in the book where we Perfect. are 
telling you to record it in your own language and mm-hmm. you know in your on your own pace and record it and rehear it every day yeah how beautiful i feel a lot of people should get hold of your book because i feel it gives it gives a key to really understand self and i've just written a blog about the inner leader and i feel it's not about the title of the leader we are all leaders and it doesn't mean it's a competition but we we are here to lead this life so that makes us an inner leader and i love the way you simplify emotions also the six basic ones i feel it's so it's so simplified for me emotions are more than emotions it's an energy and as you said i if i'm aware i can either let it go or i can change it i don't need to be a victim to my emotions and i don't need to be emotional and for me emotions is not just being emotional but understanding how i feel in the sense of what is my being like and that brings us into well-being am i feeling well yes Yes, and it's absolutely. so much more so i love the richness and yet the simplicity how you how you are able to bring that across and weave that bridge for people to actually get to a simple and yet complex understanding of self i really really love that beautiful chivani yeah i am sure mm-hmm. the audience can understand that as well and of course having your book will be even more beautiful because now they can do the exercise and work with that and in all i feel it's just so important that there are books out there there are people out there who have the courage like yourself and me too and many many others to do what they know is true inside anyway you had that dream of that psychologist in goa and i've we've seen the movie and it's so beautiful to be that and you did it in your own way you didn't have to be exactly like him you could go from the window to the door you could take in your own beauty and your own leader within to create that and it's, this is your work your book is your work your book your is your life It's very beautiful and this is the new earth that we're all creating stepping out of all that victim and fear and yes, yes it exists but it doesn't mean that's you absolutely absolutely and you know even if it was me i can i can i can accept that mm-hmm. and I can, i can release that yeah i mean there is there is there's no harm if i felt something no but I I don't like I I remember this thing like it's it's okay to to have thoughts in your mind but let's not start uh, serving the tea to your thoughts you know so so it's all about accepting yes I did a mistake okay I I maybe I felt rejected or maybe maybe someone was rude to me and uh, and and then 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 think about it how is it serving me and what is my insecurity that i in like i felt that so so maybe the presenting problem is not the problem no it's always something else and and of course often we are mirroring we are projecting to feed our yes. pain so sometimes yes. a person just becomes that person to help me see my pain absolutely and the words that we use or the words that we are you know sometimes i remember somewhere i was and i was saying the word anger a lot and then i realized maybe i was angry and i was saying that other person was angry exactly so it it <laughs> is also and i didn't are, even realize are, yeah we yeah. are mirroring each other and we are projecting it to somebody else and then get upset with someone else when really that other person gives us an opportunity of healing it and letting it go i i absolutely agree you know and and i can add something here which is my own experience there are a lot of times i might not be liking few people mm-hmm. or the energy of the people you know we we go to a clinic and we see some people and they're like oh this person is like that 
for no reason we have a perception of that person mm-hmm. because of the energy or or they're wearing a kind of a cloth or you know they are the attitude that we see mm-hmm. and after some time when that person sits with you and let's say he compliments you on something your thought process completely changes like oh you have such a beautiful eyes and and i love what you're wearing how are you today and suddenly you're like oh i was thinking something really bad about this person mm-hmm. 5 minutes ago and now it's a different thing now that's one scenario yes. the second scenario is if i'm not liking you it is not your problem no it is my problem mm mm-hmm. mm mm-hmm. but how many times does people even realize that people complain people blame people justify about the other person but nowhere they are able to see if i am not liking a particular person in my life it is not his problem no it is absolutely and absolutely your problem it is in your control mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it comes in your circle of control and if you really don't resonate with somebody it's also okay you don't need to be friends with the whole world you don't yeah, sometimes we agree to disagree also exactly but, but here's a point that if i'm not liking that person it is my energy exactly it's my energy so the day i can see that person and i'm not offended by anything that is the stage i have to weave in my life yes and this is what i was saying before somebody triggers something in you but it's you so we need to own that and and see it maybe as a gift if somebody triggers something in us what is in here to heal what is in here to let go i often use as the next step of uh, accept i use embrace so for me if i accept something i still could be like ah oh, why do i need to accept that i really don't want to but if i embrace it it's like i'm allowing it to dissolve and that's very i'm a big awesome. hugger i love hugging right for me hugging is something very beautiful and i i feel that when you really hug someone something is dissolving i'm not a big kisser i mean you know in latin america there's a lot of kissing as well but i love to hug and i really feel if we d- we hug something that hurts us inside it dissolves and i don't need to think about it anymore of course it's a process maybe not happen in a moment but as you're saying the moment i can embrace the world as it is and i don't get triggered i'm the one who is free i'm the one who is free and i feel that is the weaving that is the weaving of the new earth this is that new energy that we're talking about these are the signs and thank you for being such a beautiful vital voice of new earth and being a co-weaver with me and so many others shivani thank you so much you know other day i was uh, reading one line which i think will resonate a lot with you that it's it's okay that you have a lot of knowledge mm-hmm. and it's fine but can you understand your things around that's more important so mm-hmm. it's fine if you're intelligent and you're knowledgeable uh but that is secondary mm-hmm. first is am i able to understand things around me mm-hmm. am i able to understand my own self so so when i see you when i see your work i mean i have been seeing it for some time and and thanks to dr amit he introduced you to me there's a lot of gratitude <laughs> that goes to him i cannot um uh it cannot be a day where i don't thank him for uh, knowing you and the kind of work that you share absolutely it's it's quite a bliss because you're putting so much of effort and it shows it's coming from the heart mm-hmm. like you saw uh my work coming from the heart because i can absolutely resonate on that part because the beauty in me i see in you and you see mm-hmm. your beauty in me and and and, and somewhere because we are working maybe through different modalities but we're going yes, towards the same bridge mm-hmm. so maybe my my way of weaving is different and and your way of weaving is completely different but at least we are weaving that that place where people can be 
and the space is uh, full of love and kindness. Exactly. Uh, where, 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 where it's silence also, you know, we can be uh, listening to each other. Yes. Um, yes. Thank you so much. I feel we're going to leave some more space for weaving more and to... Yeah. To call it Absolutely. a day on this particular yeah. podcast. Well, yeah, it's it's so beautiful that Amit was able to connect us to two beautiful practitioners of the heart, weaving their own magic into the world so more and more people can cross the bridge into a new earth and be part of it. Not because we are telling them what to do, but because we are giving them the hope and the strength and the courage and the choice. Yes, choosing is, is such a powerful choice word. Choice is powerful, I and I write a lot I, about I, choice, as you know. Yes, yes, and I and I see them, and and uh, I, I, like it's like choosing to be who you are, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's choosing the right words, yes. yes, shifting the words that are not required, you know, and yes. and choose. I think it's a very powerful word that you have used in the end. Choose. <laughs> yes, so I agree. Let's let's let's. <laughs> finish it there and and yeah it was such a pleasure such a heartfelt and heart-centered experience to share this beautiful weaving with you today and leading from the heart and, and living our life in a new way being able to step out of the old and don't really care about that but being present in the now and writing books like your books and just being who we truly are and shining our light in the world. So we are here to encourage, of course, those people who are listening and who are watching us today. And yes, we can. I feel that's important. And once we know we have that choice, it is possible. So again, Shivani, thank you so much for today. Thank I you want so to say much namaste, like and I mean it from my heart. Yeah. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> and we will surely weave some more magic and new earth vibes together. Thank you so absolutely, much. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you Thank for you having so me. Much. Thank you. And I believe the work that you're doing is spreading so much more of love and joy around the world. So thank you so much for doing what you're doing. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Shivani. This is what we're here for, just like you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you.